All right. Um, what's going on? Can you guys hear me? How's that sound? Can you see me pretty good? I had to uh, adjust the focus because I had it originally on the canvas, which it would be blurry on my face. So I have my, uh, hold on, let me grab it here. I got my phone right here. Make sure you all can hear me. I got this nice little wireless uh, microphone. The camera's off, so I can't actually see what's going on. So I'm going to look down here at my phone. I hope you guys are doing pretty good today. Not pretty good. I hope you guys are doing great today. If this was a regular video, I would have edited that part out. I hope you guys are doing pretty good today because I would never say pretty good. I would always say excellent. So let me just look down here. All right, color looks good, all that stuff. All right, good deal. Yeah, so I thought, listen, I know it's been a, it's been a minute since I've done a live stream, but I thought, you know, it's Sunday and I wanted to do something, right? I have no idea what I'm doing, no clue what I'm going to do, but that's what I want you to do. I want you to know that you don't have to like, you don't have to, you know, sit around for weeks on end and not do something because you don't know what to do. You just got to start doing something. And that's what, that's what I do. And I do it all the time. So I'm going to do that here today. Also got a smaller canvas today. It's a, uh, I don't know, 12 by 16, I think it is something like that. So with that said, it looks like everything uh, is doing pretty good here on the live stream. Okay. So now I have Comcast and Verizon internet. Um, they're kind of like, you know, both active um, because everybody should remember the issues I had with the internet. Hopefully uh, that's not a problem. It says excellent connection. That's what it says right now. So I think, uh, I think we're in business. So I'm going to go back here real quick. I'm going to zoom the camera in, refocus it on the canvas and uh, we'll go ahead and get started with something. You know what I mean? So just give me two seconds here. Two seconds. All right, I'm going to zoom in, zoom in, just give me one second, and then I got to focus it, ba-boom, now we're in business, baggers and brews, thanks for the super chat, you guys are awesome, I watch all of your videos, by the way. I'm not going to bother really talking into the camera because I'm going to be blurry and zoomed in now. And I don't want you guys looking at me close up. That'll ruin your Sunday for sure. So anyways, baggers and brews, you guys are incredible. I definitely, I watch all your videos. So if anybody is on here, you should go check them out. If you guys are into Harley Davidson's or motorcycles, baggers and brews, they are on here. They have an awesome, they have an awesome channel. Go check it out. They just drive all over the place on their motorcycles. And one of these days I'm going to go for a ride with them guys. Go over there, check their channel out. It's something different, but it's awesome. Like I said, I actually, I watch every one of their videos. So head on over there, give them a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. All right. Short film coming soon. Awesome. I cannot, I can't wait for that. I'll be watching that as well, man. And don't forget, I told you I bought a, I bought a bike. A, a, it's a Suzuki. DRZ4, DR, DR, DR400, DRZ, I don't know, I'm not good with my motorcycle names. It's a DR400, it's like this on off-road thing. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I'd fit in with the Harleys though, you know what I mean? All right, all right, let's see here. Yeah, so I just figured I gotta do a video. I got hundreds of messages on Instagram and I was looking through them today and people are like, you know, just telling me how great the videos are and how it helped them get, you know, painting and they're just really inspiring to read these messages. So I don't want to just sit around and, and not make, I want to make a ton more videos and I've been busy. I've been busy all summer. I'm starting to slow down, you know, so hopefully I can make more videos. Twelve by 16 is the size of the canvas adventure bike. We love everyone on two wheels. All right, man. Well, I'm telling you, we got to got to definitely definitely go for a ride, man. You know where I'm at. I'm not far from uh, the shop. I I think I live down in one of your guys' neck of the woods, down off Route 72. All right. So I already told you, I have no clue what I'm doing here. Um, no clue. So let's just start doing something. All right. So one thing that I did do. 
I put uh, this, man, that looks hard. That looks, whew, that is, that's horrible. Looks like I chewed on it or something, but I didn't. Um, anyways, I put some of this on. This is that, it's a solvent-free fluid. I just got some of that on a small amount, put it, I just put it everywhere, and then I wiped it off with a paper towel, all right? That's the only thing I did before I started the live stream. Now, let me do this real quick. So, um, I didn't feel like putting paint on my regular. That was, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, that actually just like fell. Let me, hold on a minute. Let me look back here. There's a little delay. Did I get paint on me? Did you, did anybody catch that? I, I held this up and the whole thing just like fell right, like right on my face. That was, that was awesome. Okay. All right. So look, now we got little baby piles of color down there. I'll find something to do with it. Standard colors, white, Prussian blue, ivory black, burn umber, sap green, cad yellow, yellow ochre, cad red. Same colors I've been using for a while now at least. All right, so this is the part where I just sit here and think about, think about what I'm gonna do, because I have no idea. So at that point, super easy. Fix my little Furby thing here. Furby mic. All right, so I'm going to, I'll just yell out the colors. I'm just gonna take a little bit of blue and just maybe a little bit of black, just a t like a tiny bit of black, like a speck of it, see? And this is how you start your day, right here. You have no clue what you're doing, you just, this is how you know what you're doing. Start throwing some color up there and it'll come to you eventually. Just using a one inch brush, So I don't, anybody that's watched the other streams, you'll have to tell me how this looks because I have this set on 4K. 4K, 10-bit, I know maybe a lot of people don't know what that means, but my camera is set up, it's, it's recording 4K, 10-bit to what's called an external recorder so I can get hopefully a better picture, so. It's the light, CAD light, the light one. All right, so see, I started at the top with, I didn't get any more paint and start working down like this. And, and the, you know, the lower you go, the lighter, the lighter you do it like this, see? And it'll get lighter and that helps. It just helps in any picture that you do, not just this one, anyone. Start dark, go wipe it off and you want it to be lighter as you get down. Now, for anybody that uses liquid white, it, that kind of automatically does that as you apply it. In my case, I don't use that all, you know, I use it sometimes, but I, here we go, boom, just wipe it off. All right, and I'll just run back over this like, you know, a couple of times. I don't never, I don't think I ever go back and blend. Maybe, some, maybe you guys can tell me to watch. I don't know. I don't think I ever go back and blend, do I? I think I just kind of run over it like this. Wow, somebody's driving by and the radio, the speakers in their truck literally is like rattling the entire building. I would love to have that. Okay, so there you go. There's that. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more, a little bit more blue. Yeah, I don't want to hold this palette up because I have a bad feeling. We'll have to end the live stream early. A little bit more blue, darken the corners up. This is something else you can do right here. Bang, right there, put some there, right across the top. And I think, I, I, really, I think this just kind of helps keep your focus in, maybe, I don't know. I do it all the time, so whatever the reason is, that's the reason. All right, so there's that. Let me just step back real quick. I'm not worried about, there's like a little line right here. You can see the, like the stretcher bars or whatever. I'm not, I'm not worried about that at all. All right, so you can do two things. You can start off like I did up here and work your way down and just kind of, you know, do light pressure, hope it gets nice and light at the bottom. Or if it doesn't work out too great like that, you could just grab just a little bit of white and you could just kind of put that white in here at the horizon area. That's something else. Uh, that I'll do like on the fly, you know, if it's just not working out that day, I'll just drop some, some white in there and that'll kind of lighten things up. And you see this line right here? 
I'm not too worried about that either. I'm not sure why, but I'm just not. I always have this roll of paper towels here. I, I just always use paper towels to, to wipe the brush off because I don't use, actually while I'm, while I'm talking, I'm gonna just wipe these other little things of paint up here that splattered. I always like to use paper towels because I don't like to use paint thinner to, you know, to clean the brushes if I can help it. Because paint thinner is nasty. And I, I mean, I do use it at the end of the paintings like to clean the brushes off, I definitely use it, but I couldn't imagine using it like throughout the paintings. So I know it's not good for you. It's definitely not good for you. I don't think it's good for your skin or anything like that. I did dump paint thinner on me. Well, I don't want to say dump it on me, but I cleaned about 50 brushes one time after one of the classes and it did something to me that I, I don't know if I'm going to have to live with it for the rest of my life, but in a lot of my videos, you'll see that I wear these things. I'm just stay away from paint thinner because it does some pretty crazy stuff. All right. And it's not easy to, it's just not easy to, to live with. So it's definitely dangerous. I can attest to that. All right, now, where am I going? Where am I going? All right, let me just grab, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab some of this tea. That's what I'm gonna grab. I, I was gonna do like a forest, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't know, I like painting mountains. I haven't painted a mountain in a while. this thing out the way. And I always keep a garbage can nearby too. I just, when I'm done with the paper towels, I just wad them up and bang, just throw them away. All right, I'm gonna drop a little mountain in here, I think. So I just do, you know, the standard mountain color. Just use some blue, um, use blue, black. I'm gonna use a little brown maybe, I don't know. Let's try that, see what that gives us. Blue, black, and brown. Maybe some red, Put some red in there. Blue, black, brown, red. And a little bit of white, maybe. I'm no professional mountain maker, but I can tell you this, when you mix color sometimes, you just mix it, and sometimes you'll get something nice, so you just run with it. All right. I got some, like, grade color. Looks okay, I think. Let me just wipe it off here real quick. Yeah, see, I was going to start out by doing, a, I was going to do a forest, and then I changed my mind. And that's, you just got to, you got to do something, you know what I mean? All right, I think maybe I'll stick to the left side on this one, because maybe I'll put something else in front of it. So I'm going to go right here like this. I'm going to drop in a little something right there. Just nothing crazy, just, you know, something nice and easy. I could have put a little bit more blue in there, I suppose, but it's all right. Put a little thing right there, maybe. See that? Nice. That's sloppy, right? It's another thing. Don't don't sit there and worry about like every little thing. You know what I mean? Just just get it up there. You know, get it up there and just do something with it. You know, a lot of, and I say these things because I do get a lot of messages from people, and I only tell people like things that I've dealt with before, like, you know, of how to move on and succeed. I shouldn't say succeed. I don't think I've succeeded, but how to move on, get something up on the canvas, you know, call it a day. So I always just give advice that, that, you know, I've lived through. Do I even make sense? Oh my gosh. I don't even think I make sense. See, power of editing, like making my videos, I can edit out all the dumbness. All right. Boom. All right. So just for the heck of it, I'm just gonna do this real quick, just cause I got a lot of paint up there. I, you know, I'm just gonna just, just wipe that real quick. And I wanted it to be more light at the bottom, all right? So look, I'm not worried about it. Watch this, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of white paint. 
See? Just smooth that in. Boom, just like that. Not worried about over here because I'm probably going to put something in front of that too. All right. Yeah, I hope everybody had a good summer. I think the winter time is, is my more active time. All right. All right, let's grab, I'm just gonna be simple and easy here. I'm just gonna grab some white here. It's, you know, it's not like the best white, it's a little dirty, but just grab a little bit of that. And just drop some things up here. You see, I, I'm not like really thinking about anything. I'm just kind of just, you know, dropping stuff where, just wherever, really. All right. Let's get some, just going to get some blue, and I'm going to mix some blue in there. Make a couple little shadows. So I'm just taking some blue and white. And when you're doing this, it, you can put a little black in there if you want it to be a little grayed. And if you do that, when you gray stuff, I think it helps it look a little bit more lifelike. Something like that. I don't, know. don't listen to me. I don't always know what I'm talking about. And I never take credit or, or you know, try to say that I do, because I don't. Okay, little shadows. It's on there. Now, I know one thing. I know, like, when I, started, when I first started painting, I caught a lot of hell about the way I held my knife. People always said, don't put your finger on here. I've always put my finger on the blade. You could do it both ways or whatever, but just so anybody out there that's watching this, I've always done that, and it's never, I don't think it's ever affected me before. So, a little side note there. All right, just drop some little shadows there. Then you can come back with some white, and you can add, you know, you can redefine things. You can make it like this. After you put your shadows in, it's it's easier to to come back afterwards with the white, you know, with the highlight color. All right. Maybe I'll put a little bit of dark, little like a gray, black, and blue towards the front. See how this looks. Just a little bit, just to kind of tell you that it's a little closer. All right, I'm just going to wipe this one inch brush off here real quick. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to smooth this out, I think. You could tap on it or whatever if you want to do that, like this too. You know, create a little soft effect, you can do that. Lift it up, and I'll tell you what, lifting it like this really does help. It helps a lot. It just really softens everything up, but I'm barely touching the canvas when I'm doing this. All right, now, let's see. I kind of want something to come right down in front of this thing here, but before I do that, let me see how this looks. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab some white paint here and I wanna, some more. I just want to tap in some, uh, I don't know, some something here. Did I just say some something? That's the other thing. My, uh, my grammar isn't very good. So hopefully this will, this will, you know, show, show through like just a little area of, of white. getting a little bit more white. I want it to be a little bit more noticeable. Now you could, you know, you could use a blender brush if you have one of them or whatever. I just use whatever's in my hand all the time. Sometimes I just use my hand. I'm going to put a little bit more down here too. 
it'll make like a little layer of uh, mist or, or whatever this stuff is. I don't know. It's just, it's something that's going to separate the mountain and whatever I put in front of it. So maybe just a little bit more. Oh, that's a lot of paint. But the one thing that I say all the time for, and, and I really mean this, like I, I just don't, I don't care what, what's going on here. I don't care how, how it looks. You know, um, it's fun. This is fun, right? So don't forget, don't forget why you're doing this. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it, buddy. You're the man. All right. All right, so there. That may not look like much right this second, okay? But I think I'm going to put something in front of it. So maybe I'll grab, maybe I'll grab a little filbert or something. Hmm, let me think. Yeah. All right, so I'm going, to I'm going to do this. I'm just going to mix. I'm going to take uh, green, black, and blue. Green, black, blue. And a tiny bit of white, just the smallest amount of white. Let's see what that does. Just to lighten it up a little bit. All right. And I'm going to put like a little something, a hill or, you know, something in front of this. But I don't want it to be too dark. You can always go back and darken it up afterwards. So I really want this to kind of like be like shoom, like this, have a little life to it. You know what I mean? See? So start there, just like that. And just come up here, and then you could just drop some of this in like this, see? And just go right over like this. And you can adjust it in areas, you know, where you think it needs to be changed. You can make it go up, down, whatever. All right. I'm going to get some more blue, black, and green, a little bit more pure color to drop in down here because it, maybe it'll be darker here. See, I'm just doing one of these things. All right, I'm not going to fill it all the way in because I'm going to come back with this one inch brush, I think. And let's see how this works. I'm just going to do these little circles just to get this color spread around. You know, and you see the size of this? I don't know if I'm going to use the whole thing. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. You know, but you can make those adjustments. Just get that color up there first. So I'm going to get more blue, black, and green. I didn't mix any white in here because I want it to be darker towards the bottom. All right, that's gonna, that'll help with a few things. Hopefully depth, it'll help with green, black, blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just get some of that color in there like this. Just get it across the bottom, leave the top light. Glasses. So I, I'm doing one on October 17th and I, there's actually, there's spots still left in that. Um, I still think a lot of people are like leery, you know, leery, like nervous about everything that's going on. So there's one on October 17th and yeah, there's definitely spots left on that. I was going to do a much smaller class anyway, so I wasn't really worried about it. If it filled, I just kind of wanted to get back into the swing of things, but, but there's, there's still room. It's still up on the website and that's like 11 AM to about five or 6 PM, something like that that will go. And we're doing a really cool picture, actually. Let me, um, I think I have it right here. Yeah, I do. So I'm just going to hold this up. I'm going to fix my microphone. My cross is hitting it. This is, um, this is the class for the 17th right there. And it's pretty simple. It's 125. All the details are on the website. Um, I have all the paint and the canvases. Um, the only thing I don't have is brushes. And the reason I don't have, like, have the brushes anymore to give to everybody is because of some of the things that happened to me from cleaning all the brushes. Um, so I got rid of that. But this is the actual picture here you know, that we're doing. It's a really nice detailed picture. Well, it's not detailed at all, um, but it's, it's a fun picture to do. Okay, okay, let's see here. 
All right, so I think that's usable. And then I'm probably gonna have another one coming down this side here. So let me do this. Let me get some black, blue, green again. I use those colors a lot. Blue, black, green, just to try to get my, um, I don't wanna call it a sketch, but just to get an idea of where things are going. So maybe, maybe this one will come, let me stand back and have a look. You know, maybe this one will come right and drop right in front like this. And this one will come down here and this will be darker so you can notice, you know, that it's in front of this other one. So I'm just getting blue, black, and green when I go down here. All right. So get some of that color in there like that. And then same colors. And I'll separate them with highlight as as time goes on sam thank you favorite left-handed painter appreciate that step back often too make sure you step back by the way this is not staying like that i'm going to put some some color on that all right so so i know i want that to stay like that as far as that goes on this side i'm going to come in here and maybe, you know, there's another little hill there. So I'll put some stuff in like this. And this is where my mind goes. It just kind of drifts off often, very often, into left field. And then I'll look at it, I'll step back, and I'll be like, all right, I want some kind of water to come in here. So I'll go like this, and I'll maybe, maybe I'll run it this way, smaller in the back, and then I'll come right off, maybe right off the canvas, you know, something like that, okay, just to give you an idea. And then I can make my adjustments as I go. Maybe I'll make this you know, a little bigger, coming around like that, and this could all be water. And Robert Warren, fantastic artist, good friend, he once told me that water that moves off of the canvas on the angle, like coming vertically, vertically, or I don't know, you see how it's coming off the canvas. When it moves off this way, it just, uh, it symbolizes power. I'm not sure. He, he, it made sense the way he said it. I, I'm not good at replicating what he said, but, but it makes uh, perfect sense what he said to me because I, I noticed that in a lot of different paintings. So, yeah. All right, now I may not look like much to you. We're going to put some highlights on here in a minute. So I'm just going to go through here, and I'm going to take some blue, black, and green. Blue, black, green. And I'm going to just kind of go like this real quick. I'm just going to spread some of this color down in here. Just get it in here, some of this dark color, something like this. See, just get it in there. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side here. But my whole point is I just, you know, you don't have to, you don't really have to know where you're going all the time. Just start doing something. And if you start doing something, things will come together for you. And it generally just works out. It works out for me when I do it this way. And I know everybody's different, but I'm just trying to help you. And that's why I make the videos that I make because I, I want them to benefit you and help you guys, if that makes sense. All right, let's get back up to here. Let me set that filbert down. I'm going to grab that one inch brush that I used the whole time. So, so far I've just used the one inch brush and then I've used this little filbert thing. All right, so let's go ahead and start. I'm going to put some color on this thing here. So for that, I got to move the filbert out of the way. I'm going to grab, I'm going to take straight up. I'm not going to really do anything with this. It still has some of the blue in it, but I'm going to go over here to the cad yellow and I'm not thinning any of this paint down, but I'm just going to go to the cad yellow and I'm going to just tap this one inch in there. And this is going to give me a, not a pure yellow, but it's going to have a little green tint to it. And let's see what this does. See? Let's see what this does. Now, let's go right here. I'm just going to come up here and start putting on little highlights. Little taps, see? To indicate the little hills or whatever you want, whatever you want it to be. Go back down, tap into some more. 
Same thing, just I'm kind of staying to the top here. See? And then I always step back. I, I always step back because that helps me with angles and different things. See? I turn the brush. I'm turning, I always turn the brush. Don't ever leave it in the same direction because just don't, trust me. You, it'll be very noticeable in your pictures. See? All right, so now there's a little bit of something happening back there. And you can add different colors. You can do all kinds of stuff with it, all right? Do softer tapping if you want to have more like subtle things going on. See? Something like that. All right, so we've put our dark color in already. Does anybody see how like how simple, you know, it's just coming along. Like, you know what I mean? I started with zero idea of what I was doing. I mean, obviously, you know, you're doing a landscape. Well, at first I thought I was doing a forest, but it turned out different. Okay, so now is when this is going to, I'm going to separate this here, all right, our foreground area first. I'm going to start doing that. So now I'm going to take the same brush, the one inch, I'm going to tap into some nice pure yellow. Nice, yeah, it looks good. All right, and then I'm going to come in here, and this is going to give me an idea of where our ground is going to go, our foreground. So maybe I'll start there, like this, and just have that one area right there. All right, and that'll get me going. I'm just wiping that one-inch brush off, and I'm going right back into the yellow. I should have probably used my regular palette. This is all weird and funny. You got to smash the brush down when you're making, you know, when you're putting these highlights on because I'm not thinning any of this down. None of it. All right. All right. So there, there comes our ground, foreground into play here. Wiping this off again, and now I got to get some pure yellow here going, some straight up yellow somehow on this dirty brush without cleaning it because I really want it to separate. Okay, I think we're good there. And I want to do, I just want to drop in a few like areas here that are nice and bright. Something like that. Maybe put a few here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see that. All right, now, same. we can go to the other side, but now I'm going to get a little green in here, okay? It's going to be a little bit less uh, noticeable, maybe some yellow ochre in there too, just to tone that down. You don't want it to be as bright as the other side because that just won't look right. So I have some green and yellow ochre mixed in here, all right? And we can come right up to there, and we can just start making our, see, little hill there, see? Boom. And I'm leaving a lot of the dark in there because it is important to leave the dark. So I think there's a hill right there, see? All right, that's a little darker. So I step back and I see I have to raise that up because it just don't look right to me. So now I'll come up here like this. Start up a little higher and then boom. All right, so there we go, a little higher. Actually, it has to go a little higher than that. Let me, there we go. It looks a little bit better, maybe, maybe not. Okay, now let me grab, let me set that down. I'm gonna get a fan brush, I think, a little baby fan brush. Number three, my favorite fan brush in the world. When I get more brushes in the near future, I'm definitely going to have number three fan brushes, in case anybody is wondering. All right. Let's do, let's do this. Number three, I'm going to just going to get some, make a little pile, blue, black, and green. All right, blue, black, and green, nice dark color. 
I get it on the fan brush. I always get it nice and chiseled. And then I'm going to, what am I going to do? I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a few trees in, in here. So I'm just going to push up. Go back. I always reload. Got to reload. If you don't reload, you're going to make a mess. All right, so let's see. I'm going to make a bigger one. Heck with it. Right there. Even after I put that little line in, I'll go back and I'll get more paint on, on the brush. Touch, push. See, leave a little space. Touch, push. Touch, push. And I'm using, flip it. Smashing some stuff in here. It just looks like little bushes or whatever. All right. Maybe some there. Something like that. A couple trees, see? Put a little baby, couple baby ones right in there, maybe. Let's get some more green, black, and blue. And then maybe, maybe we'll have a little, little ones back here, too, see? Maybe you can just see, barely see these ones. You know, they're whatever. They're all over the place. All right, something going on back there, right? Not really sure what it is, but it's it's there. All right, let's do let's do this. Um, you get some of that blue up there in the sky, but all these brushes are dirty. So let me do this real quick. Let me. You know, I get that question a lot. Are we allowed to try and paint anything that I do? Paint it, sell it. Don't even mention my name if you don't want to. Just do it, you know what I mean? Just get in there and do it. All right, so all the brushes are dirty that I've been using. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get a little bit of blue and white. I need to get a little blue in here, okay? So first, I'm just gonna take my finger real quick, probably. I don't feel like dirtying up a whole nother brush. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of this uh, white paint first, right about there. All right, and a little bit of blue. Get a little blue happening in here, you see? Something like there. And get a little bit more white. Touch more blue. Just get it going back there, see? Just like that, okay, wipe the old finger off. All right, so there's a little hint of blue happening in there. Now, I can even just take, you know, whatever, I can take this dirty fan brush and I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm just going to pull some of this stuff down. And I, this looks bad and sloppy, but I'll show you here in a second what I'm doing. I'm just going to pull some of this down, just like this. Maybe come up in here, pull tiny bits. The fan brush gives you really, really good control when it comes to, you know, doing this here. Something like that. Help you get a little reflection happening in there. Okay, now I really got to try to wipe this off. I could just grab another brush. I don't feel like it though. All right, I'm just going to try to work this in. Oop, got a little, little hair. I'm just going to work this side to side carefully, real quick. Okay, you get the idea, right? Um, let me just move the fan brush out of the way. And let's have that there. All right, I'm gonna grab the knife now. Grab the knife, get, I'm gonna get, I don't know, like a bluish, whitish, greenish color. Just, it's got a little blue, a little green, a little white in it. I'm going to get some on here, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm going to come back here and I'm going to start to do this. I'm going to drop in, get some more of that color. Okay. A little 
little water line action, right? Kind of runs that way a little bit. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One there. Something like, maybe like that. All right, now wipe that off. I got to go back up here. I'll just use a one inch brush. I'm going to get a little bit more of that yellow color real quick. Nice bright yellow. On there, I just want to maybe a little bit of the sun is hitting, you know, right there. You can choose areas like, you know, maybe, maybe the sun is going to hit. I'll show you. I know I said it was dark on the other side and that's probably the case, but maybe some of the light does shine through, right? And maybe it just hits the top there. You know, maybe it hits a little bit there or something. You know what I mean? There's like things that you can do. So it's just not all one color. You know what I mean? All right. Um, I'm just going to take this knife real quick and I'm going to just pull up uh, some things. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's super helpful to make these little things going on in here because it just looks like something's happening. Maybe it's little trees. I don't know. You could sharpen up your trees, say like that, and you could have little other things going on. All right. And then you can always tone that down too, if you want. You can always tone it down. See, I have all these scratch marks in here. I can easily just go back in here and just touch it carefully, you know, with that brush. Or there's a lot of yellow in here. So let's do this. Let's take some uh, yellow ochre on the on this one inch brush here and I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put a little different, you know, something something different's happening here today. See? There's little little things, little I don't know what those are. There's something. I'll let whoever's looking at this picture, they're going to figure out exactly what, you know, what those things are. Maybe they're bushes or something. A little yellow ochre up there. Maybe some there. Drop some here and there. Give it a whole little different look. Something like that. I don't know. It's all, you know, this is all fun. This is, this is a lot of fun to me. There's really, there's one hell of a major reason why I do this. Most of you guys already know that. But I don't do it just because it's fun. I do it because it keeps me, it keeps me breathing. I know that sounds weird, but that's the truth. I just took a little white. I don't know why, but I did. I'm just going to soften that up by tapping it like this. All right, kind of just settles that down a little bit. Settles it down or settles it down? Not sure. All right, back to yellow, straight yellow, bright yellow. Bright yellow, and I want to want to hit right there. A lot of yellow in there. Ooh, that's a lot. Watch this. That is a lot of yellow. I mean, it's like blobbed onto my brush, and so now I have to really have control here. See? Nice and bright. I need some right there, though. I don't know why I'm feeling it. I feel like I need it right there in this corner. Something like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Have a couple little things here, maybe. You can just kind of, you know, experiment around. That's, I mean, there is, I'm telling you, I think the hardest part the hardest part of this here is just like not knowing what you're going to do. That's the hardest part. And I, I'm serious. I mean that. All right. Let me set that down real quick. Let me just go back to, maybe I'll go back to the filbert for a second. I was thinking, I wonder what, if we just change this up a little bit. Maybe, it, maybe it'll look like there's little, trees or something up here, you know, I don't know. These are the kind of things that I do 
when I'm not, sh you know, I'm not sure what's, you know, what the outcome is going to be. I just do it, you know, just do it. You know, maybe it'll, maybe it could look like little trees. Maybe maybe it won't look like any. Maybe it'll look horrible. I'm not sure. But since I got the filbert, I'm going to go into some of our that yellow. I'm just smashing my filbert in. It's a little greenish yellow, and I'm just going to come up here, and I'm just going to, you know, dab on a few little things here. You know, like little highlight little thingies. Something like this, maybe. With the filbert, you have a lot more control as well. You can do all kinds of stuff with this filbert. I probably should use it more than I do. Let me get some yellow ochre down here. I'm going to put something in the back here. Don't know what this is, but it's there. See, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Those could be special trees back there. Heading towards the bottom. Maybe there's some there. And then there's some there. Something like that. Okay, let me set that down and grab, I'm gonna grab this knife here. And maybe I'm just gonna, see I'm gonna just Pull up some little areas here, some straight, some crooked. You know, and think about perspective. You don't want to make this big long thing like this. I'm just doing little tiny little things. See, like that one there. I just made that way too long. I don't, this could look like little, you know, trees growing up the mountain. I don't, I don't know. I'm just giving you like suggestions of what it could be. You know, what it could look like. It could be so many, so many different things, you know. All right, hold on a second. Stand by just a second. Okay, let me see how that works, how that looks. Ugh, grab my phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I am, there I am. Do I have any paint on me? Okay, my hat looks clear. I thought I got paint for sure. So listen, I hope you guys, I hope you guys like this. You know, I hope you guys like this uh, picture. It's not about, don't, don't get hung up on not knowing what to do or, oh, if I only had this, these new brushes or, oh, if I, if I had this new paint, then I'd be able to, to make this picture. That's not the case. That's never the case. You just have, to, you just have to, do, to do it. You have to start and you have to start somewhere, just like I did here today. And that's why I wanted to do this live stream. And I just want to thank all the people that went over to Instagram and sent me tons of messages because it really made me, it really made me think like, damn. I need to start making a lot of videos. Um, hold on. Camera's going into like the auto shut off mode, even though it's still going, the screen shuts off. Anyways, I gotta make more videos. Life's not always easy, and my life is, is not easy at all. So if you guys only really knew, you know, maybe you'd be even more inspired to know what it takes for me to get up here to do any of this stuff. You know, it takes a lot. Um, but just know life is never easy. My life has never been easy and it never will be easy, but I'm always going to, I'm, I'm a fighter. I always fight through everything. And I, and I hope that you guys can just grab that much out of these videos and know that you can get through things. This here, I'm pointing to this, you can't even see it's a big picture I have off to the side, but you can't see it. This helps and it keeps me, it just keeps me in a place. I, I just can't describe it, you know? So listen, if you guys are new here, 
make sure that you go over, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the stuff, you know, and um, I'll make as many videos as I can, you know. What, I'll put it to you this way. When this becomes more of a job to me, I'll be making videos all the time. But, you know, I'm human and I have to, I got to do what I got to do, you know. But I still love you guys and I'm just glad that you're all here. So if you have any questions, head over to Instagram. Like my Instagram thing or my website should be right across the screen here. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end. I'm going to end the video. I'm going to switch over to my awesome little sequence of my son and his friend riding their one wheels that I made. I was so proud of that. So I'm going to switch off to there now. Have a great Sunday, everybody. God bless you guys. I love you. And back to the intro. We're not starting, but we are ending. So maybe I'll be able to take the uh, countdown thing off and play that for a minute. So, all right, whatever. I'm done. Just tell me to shut up in the comments. See you later.